Okay, so let me show you a quick and dirty way of uh, controlling this addressable LEDs. I have three in line. Uh, that's enough to test this uh, this project. So the uh, Pico is fast enough that we can use the GPIO directly to control it. There's the connections. Uh, the red line is a five volt rail, and then we have ground and the signal coming from GP15. There is nothing else connected other than uh, a reset switch and a probing line I was using earlier to determine the uh, the proper timing for for uh, this one since I had them for like four years and I don't remember what model they are. Here's the timing. All right. So in order to control this one, you have to send uh, 24 bits at a time, one per LED, and then a 10 microsecond uh, pause to uh, switch the frame or enable it, however you want to call it. So this will be, uh, the code will be in the description uh, for you guys to download, download, or the link will be in the description for you guys to download. Um, so let's switch to the code. And again, it will be uh, using GP15. So let's go back to the code. Let's create a project. Should be a simple project, five minute project. Call it LED. Copy this over, go in and create my CMake file, CMake lists, that TXT. I can take my uh, folder now and drop it. Let me delete this one because the pre-cache will give me issues. Uh, add my executable or my source file as main CPP. Go to CMake, and now I can start adding the minimum requirements. Um, it will be version 312. And uh, include the Pico SDK uh, import CMake. This will be C++, uh, standard 17. The project will be called LED. We initialize uh, the SDK and add the executables. Here the project. The executable is main.cpp. Add the target libraries. LED for the project and the, uh, the standard library that's all we're going to use we add the extra uh, add extra outputs for led so that's it let's go add the code the code should be simple as well uh, include And we need our loop. And we need a simple function to control those uh, uh, LEDs. So let's call it uh, light up LED. And since we have to do uh, 24 bits, this will be an integer. It, an integer is 32 bits in, the, in this uh, environment. So we're good to go. And we'll call it bits to light up. Uh, we'll need a variable uh, for to validate the bits to see if it's a zero or a one. We also need an index, zero. And we need one more uh, bit countdown. And this will be 24. So we're doing 24 bits out of the 32 we're getting in this uh, variable there. So we'll say bits uh, to countdown, or actually bit to, yeah, it should be bits. Uh, to countdown, and we'll go one at a time until we go to zero. Uh, we check to see if the bit is a zero or a one, so bits to light up, and it should be a bit plus plus. So we check bit zero all the way to 23. If it's a one, 
this will be for the ones. Then we use our index, and uh, it will be, uh, I've already done the calculations on how many loops I need. Uh, I need 11 for this. And I can say GPIO, um, we haven't defined the GPIO we're gonna use, so it will be GPIO initialize, we're saying it was gonna be 15, GPIO set direction for 15 equals output. So GPIO put 15, uh, set it to high or lighting up, or index zero, uh, index is less than three, I think, I recall. I didn't write that down. Um, and then GPIO put 15, zero, so turn it off. And if it's a one, I mean, sorry, if it's a zero, then uh, we do the opposite. This is four, it's a little bigger, and this is 11. So let me compile. And if everything went well, we should get zero errors. Unlikely. <laughs> so we're missing that, and we're missing that. So let's try one more. Looks like it's going. All right, so let me, uh, uh, what we're gonna do first is we wanna the in, to initialize this, for this to work properly right from the beginning, then initialize it. So you do a loop and then just clear as many LEDs you have. I only have three, but I'm still gonna say, uh, you know, less than a thousand, uh, just in case I had a strip that is a thousand long. Right, it's just a test, doesn't matter. And then I can send the uh, uh, LEDs to light up, or what was the name of it? Light up LED. So light up LED, and I'll send zeros to turn them off. Then I need to, uh, to wait 10 microseconds, send one more. You will have to find out why I'm sending an another one. And then, go back here, uh, sleep one more time, 10 microseconds. Now we're ready to use it. So let me switch here. So let's say uh, we're gonna, we only have three LEDs, so we'll turn green, red, and green. Okay, so let's connect power. Let me give you power. Okay, let's go back to the code and add that, those lines. So light up LED, uh, we say it was gonna be uh, green and red in the middle. Let's one more. Okay. Let's switch. Put this one. And let me navigate to the file. There it is. Oh, it's a little bright, even though I'm at the lowest setting. All right, so let's do the opposite. Um, let's see. We're right there. Okay, so let me, uh, so the opposite would be zero, zero, and zero, zero. We compile, we reset this thing, drop the code. There it is. Pretty easy, right? All right, the, uh, the source code or the link to the source code will be in the description. Enjoy.